And they're off, racing away for the Jaget Le Coultre. Malcolm Stakes is group three for the two-year-olds over the five furlong. Big Ebbs there with that noseband on is the first one to show from Hackman, the turquoise jacket. Then the white and red silks of Chagrin. A little bit wider out is Barnwell Boy in the white and dark blue. They're being tracked by Bahia in the silver jacket. Outpaced early on is Killian. Peter Sange is in front of him. Deeper on the track than his marker call in light blue and yellow colours. They're racing now through halfway and it's Big Ebbs joined by Bahir ridden along for Maurice Chagra wider out there Barnwell Boy still with chances Marco Cole trying to come up with something Pura Sangue trying to get going as well inside the final furlong and a half it's still Big Ebbs against the running rail who continues to lead the way from Bahir is now under pressure Pura Sangue begins to angle out putting in his challenge now running inside the final half Big Ebbs now joined by Pura Sangue Killian's beginning to fly as well Big Ebbs and Pura Sangue nothing in it on the run to the line Big Ebbs has just won the Vulcan. Big Ebbs over Pura Sangue. Killian third. Then came Bahir and Marco Cole. Jason Hart was on board. Big Ebbs. He rode him to victory at Royal Ascot. That was McAvoy's first Royal Ascot success. And now he's won the Group 3. It's Jason's second Malcolm after his win on Liberty Beach four years ago. Many congratulations. Talk me through the race and how crucial that rail was. I'd say I just kind of felt after that last race that the, the rail was going to be crucial and we had the draw to do it so I didn't really have to do much. I was able to get the rail, even though from halfway he kind of was wanting off it. I had to kind of get him racing earlier than I really wanted to just to try and keep him straight. But um, I think that was more the ground than anything else. He, he, he caught with the ground rather than loved it. It sort of blunted his speed, didn't it? Yeah, like uh, Ascot, when I gave him a kick in the belly at the furlong and a half, he, he, he put distance between himself and the rest. And there, it's, it's proper blunted him. But he's, he's sort of one in a different style today. He's really toughed out, and um, those blue points seem to be tough. That attitude under pressure was really notable when he, when he was challenged inside the final furlong. Exactly, yeah. He really stuck his head down, pinned his ears back, and, and uh, he wanted it, yeah. Speed tests. I'm hearing rumours that the owners would be quite keen to supplement for the Nunthorpe. Can you see him being suited by a race like that? Yeah, um, I could, and I think the track would suit him. Um, you like that idea, don't you? Yeah, I wouldn't be on him anyway. So, um, <laughs> but in terms of the horse himself? Yeah, in terms of the horse, yeah. I mean, they've got plenty of options. I mean, there's, there's, there's Abbeys and stuff like that as well. So they're going to have plenty of options. But he's a real two-year-old. He's real strong and uh, he's all there. So um, they'll have a lot of fun with him. What does this success mean to you? Yeah, it's nice, obviously, being, being with John Quinn. It's, it's nice to get some big winners this year, obviously, for different yards. Obviously, had um, won the Princess Margaret for Charlie on Saturday and obviously had one on Quickthorn earlier on in the year. And it's nice to, to sort of be getting some nicer outside rides as well. Yeah, it's great to see for you. Many congratulations, Jason. I'll let you go and get your trophy. Cheers, Lou. Thanks. Thank Cheers. It's a four Group 3 career success for Mick Appleby. This is a really important horse, though. Your first winner at Royal Ascot for him, and now this Group 3 success in the Molcombe. You must be very proud of you and your team. Yes, I mean, great team effort. Um, I'll take my hands off to Paul and Connor, Connor who found the horse in Ireland for us. Um, so, yeah, great team effort. And it's great to have a horse like him. When you were coming here with the rain as it was, were you a little bit worried? Because his horse has got so much speed. He has. I mean, we so, we spoke about it last night. We said last night, if it goes soft, we'll pull him out. <laughs> it's heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> they start getting softer and softer. So what are we going to do? So then we just decided, well, we've got to try him on soft ground at some point. So what, now we, we might as well get it going. If he don't go on it, we know never to run on it again. Jason said he managed and yeah. that he felt that he'd be better, as you probably know, on a quicker surface. Is that it, what you've got in your mind's eye too? I definitely. I mean, it wasn't ideal for him but because I mean, because he's so tough and genuine, he sort of pulled it out of the bag. That final furlong was great to watch, wasn't it? The way he kept just finding and kept, even though he wanted to lug off the rail, he did still keep finding for Jason. Yeah, well, a long furlong. <laughs> <laughs> a very long furlong. I mean, I thought we would be, and I mean, I, I was going to settle for second then, and then he pulled a bit more out. So, yeah, no, it's, it's very good. Now, there's a rumour going round that the owners would like to supplement for the Nunthorpe. Is that the case? Well, he, he, he said that straight after the race. Um, when he sits down and thinks about the 40 grand he's got to spend, he might change his mind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, he, yeah, I mean, we'll sort of sit down and have a chat, and, and then we'll decide whether we're going to go there or not. Um, I mean, then we sort of toyed like Breeders' Cup. That's uh, another option. 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see where we go. Do you see this horse as a juvenile, or do you think he's the kind of horse that can go on as he gets older? Well, I'd like to think he'll, he'll keep progressing as a top sprinter. Um, I mean, obviously, he's, he's good now, and I, I think he'll keep improving. Mm. I don't think he's just a two-year-old. Mm -hmm. OK. So, none thought possible. You're talking about the Breeders' Cup with the Abbey, things like that be on your mind too? Well, I mean, obviously, now he's handled this today, I mean, it could be a possibility of the Abbey, but uh, I don't think I'd want to run him in sort of soft ground in a Group 1. No. OK. Well, I'm sure you'll do well with him wherever you take him this season. Many congratulations to you and all of your team. Thank you very much. Cheers. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.